Hello everyone, welcome once again to Backward Bounty Builds, and today, there we go, taking a look at my custom pop-up book. So you've probably noticed that this pop-up book is identical to the idea set, and that's because this shell is exactly the same. It was actually part of a, uh, a little competition at Brick Fiesta 2020, which was virtual, to build your own, you know, personalized interior to it, and create your own story within the shell of the book. So... Here we have it. So one of the very first things I noticed about this set is that the inside of the book actually has a whole lot of just plain dark green bricks, you know? So there's a, a lot of empty space there in the, uh, the Little Red Riding Hood scene and in the Jack and the Beanstalk scene. One of the first things I wanted to do was fill that in. So, I, of course, used their, their same design for having a, uh, a fold down wall, but I wanted to add another axis of, uh, of motion to it, which is why I added this little dock. So it's split down the middle, has supports at either side, and when you fold it up, it goes together like that. Now on either side, um, I have a few moving parts. This is a skeleton that's kind of hanging out of the wall. He's actually on a pivot as well. So when I uh, shut the book, he does tilt back so he's not colliding with anything. And on the other side, this is a mangrove tree growing off of this kind of decaying altar. It's got the roots that stick down into the water and then there's a mysterious chalice with somebody's arm stuck to it. That's actually supposed to be the other arm of this guy. So at this step, once I had uh, basically decided that I was going to be using these dark green bricks to represent swamp water, I really wanted to, you know, continue fleshing out this design of a temple that's kind of, you know, sinking into the swamp. So I also added a couple little bits of land that are sticking off to the sides here. There's some bits of like old grass and uh, other ruins bits of stone that are just kind of scattered around to look like ruins and, you know, fill the space out just a little bit more. So by now the build was really starting to come together and I wanted to, you know, continue filling it out um, behind this wall where we have eight studs, four on either side, and this bar in the middle that's used to mount the beanstalk mechanism in the Jack and the Beanstalk scene. So for that area, I put together this I don't know, totem, statue, some sort of ancient thing. Um, so it has like a, a, a treasure, you know, anything can be placed there. And then gold earrings, big ears, um, and some nasty looking teeth, and then a headdress at the top. So that goes on right there. And now for the very last step, I just had these eight studs left over at the back. So for these ones over here, I just have some ruins sticking out of the water. And finally, last but not least, I'm actually going to take this bit of the wall off so you can see better. have this assembly, just three dark green pieces. goes on right there. This dark green cheese slope goes on right there. And then just two parts right here. A black one by one with bar attachment and then a dark green one by one as well. That sticks on like so. And then you can just take an alligator head or crocodile, crocogator, whatever you want to call them. And if you position it just right, it will stick on. And so it can be a, a little alligator swimming around in the water back there. Okay, so now that the build is basically complete, I guess I can just take a little tour. So we have these small grassy little islands, some ruins on them. You can have a minifigure, you know, explore over there. Then you have this dock that you can just barely make the jump to. Split down the middle though, so you gotta be careful of that. The uh, boards lead you up here between this wall and this altar. Altar has, you know, some neat designs along the sides and spiky edges and then there's this mysterious chalice. Ooh. Then over here, just some more, you know, greebling 
various wall designs and some unlucky person that, uh, I don't know, got stuck in the wall somehow. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. And then back here, you do have a, uh, a treasure, just a yellow coffee mug is what I'm using right now, but it can really be anything. And then uh, some ruins and an alligator that you ought to watch out for because he'll eat you. And there you have it. That is my pop-up book. And I really enjoyed working on this mock. Um, this was especially fun to try and get all this stuff to fit within the constraints of the book. Um, gave it an added challenge and it was unique from other stuff that, you know, you typically build. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.